Hey gang, it's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of You Know What? Marketing for the rest of us. So I had this conversation today with a client. We were doing an interview and before the interview, we were in the green room, we call it, right? Before we hit record. And uh, this thought just struck, actually, actually, I take that back. It was in the interview at the end, I think, uh, as we were closing out the episode. And so here's what uh, stood out to me. Um, you know, there are a lot of people who, well, look, what we do in this day and age is we consume content, right? We listen to podcasts, we read books. We do all this like consuming of content to try to find answers and angles on how to get where we want to go in life. I mean, unless it's about entertainment, for the most part, the reason we are into personal development is because we're looking for angles on how to get where we want to go. Now, that being said, here's what I've noticed. And I've noticed this about myself, right? And I noticed this about others. That what the, the behavior, the pattern that we start to set is we consume content and then we start to find people that we resonate with. Like, like for me, I love Seth Godin, right? Um, there's a guy named Garrett White I like. There's, uh, there are a bunch of different people that I resonate with. Uh, Michael Mayer, he's super smart when it comes to referral strategies. There are people that we resonate with in their content. So we listen to their podcasts, we read their books, we watch their YouTube channel, like we consume their content. But here's the interesting thing. And this is why a lot of you are confused in the world of marketing or in the world of growing your business. You're in, we, we get in such a pattern of consuming content that when we, it's not even about who we resonate with, we just keep consuming more and more and more. And so we end up with so many different ideas, we don't know which path to take, right? Because Garrett White talks about things differently than Michael Mayer talks about things than Seth Godin talks about things. And so we have all of this input and we don't know which path to pick. And so rather than pick a path and lean into it and invest in a particular direction or a particular mentor or a particular program, overwhelmed by all that decision, we just keep, we just keep consuming more content, right? Your, listen, uh, there are, I think it's an old scripture verse maybe, right? But like you can't serve two masters. You can't serve two masters. And when content, when you find some that resonates with you, the goal is not to then go consume even more content from other people, other masters, if you want to call it that. The goal becomes to lean into the master you most resonate with and invest. Go that direction. I just spent five grand to go to a conference in June, right? Because I resonate with, I'm like, this is the path I'm choosing. I'm choosing this path. This is where I'm going. Now, old Chris, the old me, would have like said, had excuses like, dude, five grand, that's, I don't know, like five grand for, for three days of a course, that feels like a lot of money, right? And, I would, and rather than invest, what I would have done is continue to tickle my ears with more and more content. And under the excuse of I don't have the money or under the guise of like um, bootstrapping, right? We're going to bootstrap this, <laughs> We're, gonna, we're just going to bootstrap. We're gonna, well, I'm, on, I'm on a budget. So then we, what, we do, what we do is we don't take any risks to invest in the things that we know most resonate with our soul. Guys, as you find uh, people who have an angle on the very thing it is you're trying to make sense of, all there is to do is lean in to that particular voice and invest. doesn't mean you have to invest forever. You don't have to be in a committed relationship with that guru forever. But it does mean that for a while, cut off the other voices in your mind and go all in on that for a season. And then when you look back, you can be like, look, I, I studied under this person, whether you studied under them in their programs or actually coached with them, whatever, but you, you studied under them for a season and now you can move on to the next season, right? So I say this to you because in the world of marketing, there's a lot of voices and there's a lot of content that have opinions for you about marketing, right? And it's your job as you sift through all that content to find the ones that resonate most and then do yourself a favor and go deeper. Don't just look, you're only going to get so much in the podcast. You're only going to get so much in their book. The place where you really start to unpack the transformation for yourself is by investing with them. All right. That's it for today, gang in marketing for the rest of us. Check in tomorrow for another episode of marketing for the rest of us. Until then, have a great evening and see ya.